Okay, I wanted to talk a little bit about the different types of tape that we use. So the five most common types of tape are going to be our blue frog tape, our inner tape, our yellow frog tape, um, Scotch 2020 tape, and then we also use Scotch blue ultra sharp lines. It kind of goes in order of most commonly used. So the blue frog tape is what we're going to, it has more of like a medium adhesion. Um, it's not going to, it's going to be less likely to peel paint off a surface, uh, unlike the 2020 tape, which is very high adhesion. Um, it also locks in the edges, so when you're masking off trim, it tends to do a good job of not allowing bleed through. So the blue frog tape is commonly going to be used for interior wall painting when we're masking off trim. We also use it a little bit for masking cabinet work or masking to prepare to paint trim. Um, so when we're working inside, this is going to be the most commonly used tape that we use. The IPG tape, we're going to use that for exterior painting and for masking off windows. Most of our masking is going to be done with the IPG or it's called inner tape. Uh, it's also medium adhesion. It's a little bit cheaper than the uh, frog tape, uh, but it does a good job, especially in exteriors. We also use the two inch version of the IPG for masking off uh, boxes uh, when we're painting kitchen cabinets. Uh, and also other various uses when we're uh, masking off a, a kitchen. The yellow frog tape, very similar to the blue, although it is designed for more of a delicate surface. So uh, we're gonna be using that on like wood floors if we're masking to prepare to paint kitchen cabinets. If we're masking a previously painted surface and we don't wanna touch it up or we're not planning on like painting the wall, then we're gonna use the yellow frog tape because it, uh, has a better release where we're not going to be worried as much about it ruining the surface. Um, but very important to use it on wood floors to make sure that um, we're not sticking something on there that's going to pull the finish off. That's where you wouldn't want to use the 2020 tape. So if you use that on a wood floor, it's going to probably leave residue. It may also pull off the previous finish because it is high adhesion. Uh, it's rare that we're going to use this. The circumstances will probably be if we're going to be um, taping plastic to plastic, or if we're trying to mask off some brick or a surface that we're not really too concerned about. Um, the maximum amount of time that we want to leave this tape on the surface is three days before we pull it. Otherwise, it will um, come off in slivers and it will be very difficult to remove. Uh, the last tape, the Scotch Blue Ultra Sharp Lines, we rarely use that. We use it in the case of um, retexturing ceilings. So if we're going to pull popcorn off and put up like a knockdown texture or smooth ceiling, there's a lot of moisture that occurs during that. And this Scotch blue tape has a shell to it and makes it waterproof. So it's less likely to release from the surface and pull down. So um, we don't do a lot of retexturing of ceilings, but when we do, that's the kind of tape that we're going to use for that circumstance. So that covers all the tapes. Now in the SOP, it's gonna always tell you what type of tape to bring with you for the project. Uh, so you always wanna to refer to that, but um, I just wanna go over a brief description of, of the different types of tapes, when to use some and when definitely not to use others. So and I just wanted to point out that in your training area, you're gonna have a description of each one of the tapes. It's gonna tell you the name, the adhesion level, the time to remove it, and the common uses. Uh, so we kind of went over a little bit of that in the previous part of this video. Uh, but if you ever need to reference this information, uh, this is available inside of your SOP.